Hey guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to export the multi-output version of Invasion as separate audio stems for processing. Why would you want to do this? Well, the main reason really is it saves CPU. Reading MIDI is a lot more CPU intensive than reading audio files. The reason for this is MIDI often contains things like round robins and obviously different velocities and the computer has to read those each time so if you actually bounce them to audio tracks obviously that's a set file so your computer doesn't have to think about all that information that MIDI contains. So I have set Invasion up multi-output into Logic as you can see I've got all the tracks expanded out here. I have a groove from the Anoop pack which sounds like this. and I want to export these as audio stems. So each of these channels will have their own audio region. How do I do that? Simply highlight them all in the mixer window, right click and press create track. This creates separate channels in the arrange window of each of those multiple outputs. So if I were to play the MIDI now, you'll see the audio coming out of these separate channels. This is useful if you want to automate a specific channel say if you want the room mics to be up in the chorus, you simply enable the automation and go into the room mics and automate them up. But that's not what we're doing today. So to export them as each audio stem, highlight them all. I like to have a loop region. This tells Logic how long I want each audio file to be. It will match the length of the loop. From here, what we're looking to do is go to export, and 15 tracks as audio files. You can see the shortcut is Command E. So I'm going to do that, Command E. That brings up this window. So I'm going to go and create a folder on my desktop, which will just be Invasion Multi Out Audio Stems. And now we've got this menu. We want to export the cycle range because that is the length of the loop bar. We've got, we, I want it to be in wave, I want it to be 16 bit, we want one file per track. Uh, now, if you want to bypass the effect plugin, so you've just got the raw stems, you click that. If you want to include the volume and pan automation, you obviously click that. Normalize, I always switch off. And then this bit is really powerful, actually. Let's get rid of this. So what I normally do is I want the track name, so I want each audio region to be called the same as its channel. So I want the stem for the kick to be called kick etc etc so if you just put the track name here it will do that problem with this is if you do that and import the stems into a session it'll organize them in alphabetical order which means they won't be in the same order that you have set up in logic so what you do is put track number before track name you can see in the file name example here it says zero one kick so when you import files into logic it imports in number order before alphabetical so here Channel 1 will be 0, 01 kick, channel 2 will be 0, 02 snare. So after you've done that, go ahead and click export. It's now going to go through and export all those as their own audio stem. Okay, now that's exported, let's go onto the desktop and find our files. And there they are. Then let's drag them into Logic, uh, create new tracks we want to do. And there they are. So let's go through them and take a listen. So as you can see, everything's there. Everything's exported to their own stem correctly. All the toms. So obviously this technique uh, works for both Modern and Massive and the Halpern library also, or indeed any multi-output instrument at all. So I hope that was easy to follow. I hope you guys are well, and I will catch you next time.